Hello everybody, Mr. Mobs here and welcome back to the channel. So today we're playing a little bit of the Into the Radius. Um, full disclosure here, I have already played the tutorial part and a tiny bit into the game. Um, I was recording but there were several interruptions and in the end I think it would have made quite enough video to watch. So what I've done is I've decided just to start again and make a fresh recording. So I'm hoping to be able to start without going through the tutorial again. So, no, we don't want that. There we go, normal, blah, blah, blah. Profile 2, fine. Yeah, so hopefully I can start without going through that tutorial. Um, yeah, here you go, perfect. So, basically... Um, Stop. Authorised personnel only. Raise your hands above your head for identification. Reading, thanks for... This message is to remind you that you are the UNPSC field officer aiding our research of the Pechorsk radius anomaly. Congratulations on your contract extension. Your security level has been reset to zero due to long-term absence. Please proceed to your room and continue the missions. We are hoping for complete cooperation. Okay, fine in there for now um yeah so when you finish your tu the tutorial you actually start just there where we started so <coughs> excuse me um so that's basically how far we've gone unfortunately i've also caught a cold from my uh, baby daughter so thank you for that one um but yeah a small price to play she's lovely so uh never mind oh look at this So interestingly, when I did play this before, um, I missed some of this stuff. I didn't see the grenade, I didn't see this, so I guess I'm, I'm kind of benefiting from going back. There we go, let's get into here. Health. Right, um, still learning the controls a bit, but hopefully there we go, stick that there. I don't really know if I need to carry all that there in the same. <sighs> Artifacts. No, it told me to put that in my. Oh, where am I? Put that up there. That's where I want to put my torch, isn't it? Hard. No, put them that side. Sorry if I keep sniffing. I, I have been blowing my nose, but um, yeah, just constantly producing snot, which I'm sure you wanted to know. Right, here we go. So we've got some empty uh, cartridges. Are these are the bullets for those ones. Should we see? Yep, there we go. Drop a load onto the floor. I don't know if just do it that way. Yeah, I can. Brilliant. It's a lot easier, isn't it? Oop. It's a bit weird. It doesn't always go in. I have to pick those up. Is that it? Is that what, that one full now then? It doesn't look full. It looks like I can put But apparently that's the lot. It looks like I should be able to put. So the problem I've got as well here is I don't I don't know anything about guns. So when it tells you like the different bullet types and stuff for each gun, it doesn't mean anything to me. So I'll have to learn that. Right, that's it. Look. So we've got a couple of clips there. I think that goes in there. And I have already got a gun, but they're two different guns. Now that's something... Well, they look actually... No, they do look identical. Are they identical? Yeah, they are. Egypt. Okay. Let's pick that box back up. Oh. Empty the clip on one of them. Is 
So I've got two full clips. Um, well, three, including the one that's in the gun. Let's pick these bullets up, put them back in. And these are, what are these ones? 9 times 18 I guess that's 18 millimeter, would it be? Right, okay. Uh, let's go put the bullets. Got plenty of bullets then, that's nice. Ah, now these are for... Are these different? They're the same, aren't they? Okay, that's good. Got loads of bullets in. Brilliant. Stick my grenade in my bag. Hopefully it doesn't go off. Right, brilliant. Some food. Tons of food. <coughs> okay. Pull open knife with your free hand eat. Oh, nice. Right, so let's start the first mission. First um, equipment retrieval. First mission is to retrieve the Precessor's wristwatch containing valuable metrics. Fine, start mission. Brilliant. So I'm going to start this mission. Uh, anything else I need to take? No, I reckon I'm pretty good. This is first mission, so it's going to be fairly easy, I hope. There's a cassette there. Right, okay. So let's stick that in the... Explorers, this is a friendly reminder from the UNPSC not to attempt to leave the Ventoris Exclusion Zone, as demarcated by the electric fence surrounding the site. We deeply regret the necessity of this measure, taken for your own protection, as well as for the protection of anyone attempting to enter the zone. Exposure to radiation and other after effects of the event have made the world outside the Exclusion Zone Toxic for those who were in close proximity to the asteroid strike. Every survivor who left the exclusion zone before the area was cordoned off died within hours, despite the best efforts of the UNPSC's medical specialists. No medications or surgical interventions, not even the creation of controlled environments, succeeded in slowing the deterioration of organ function in those unfortunate survivors of the event. There have been no medical breakthroughs since that would suggest that doctors would be able to save a survivor who exited the zone. We hope that our research, with your assistance, will in time permit for such a breakthrough. Meanwhile, the UNPSC is with you in your efforts to maintain whatever normalcy is possible under the circumstances. We are committed to providing you with everything you need for a safe and comfortable existence in return for your continued cooperation. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, I'll just put this over here while I'm here. Oh, look, that's some uh, WD 40. If you get the uh, contact spray stuff, not the regular WD 40, but the contact one, that's really good for your Quest 2 controllers. So if you get stick drift, you can use that, but make sure you use the right one. It is the contact cleaner one that you need. Um, over here. Stuff lying around everywhere, torches and all sorts. Um, so I reckon this first mission is going to be fairly easy, so I'm not going to go out tooled up too much. It looks like there's lots to learn, there was a crafting bench back there, so I guess you can craft different items. Looks like it's quite an in-depth game this, which is quite nice, something to sink, sink your teeth into. So I should probably say a few things. Um, the uh, this game was released in I think 2019, so 
it's good for what four five years old now graphically again it's pretty good stands out pretty good for its age um, I'm playing it on a quite high-end PC um, so I guess I feel quite fortunate that I've waited well I didn't wait I didn't I just never got around to playing this game um, until now so um, I think if I played it back then I would have been on a much older hardware with like the original Quest 1 probably at that point um, so there's a tape there let me just grab that so yeah I'm probably getting the best experience playing it now All right, where's more? there it is pop that in see what UNPSC Explorer 12 log 10-7 reflector anomaly the reflector anomaly appears to be a transparent pulsing dome, seven to nine meters in diameter. This dangerous anomaly projects any non-organic object back the way it came with supersonic speed while also hitting it by several hundred degrees. If you walk into a reflector, it will throw you back several meters and emit a sound. Reflectors aren't that bad as far as anomalies go. They give you fair warning before actually doing damage. All you have to do is step aside. If you get hit by the beams, though, you and your equipment may sustain considerable damage. I recommend proceeding with extreme caution near this anomaly, as it has taken the lives of several UMPSC researchers who have tried to analyze it. Right, fine. Just a nice little warning there, not to get hit by one of the old thingy-bobs like you see over there. Let's see what else we've got here. It's one of those games, that, oh look. Cigarettes are bad. I used to smoke actually myself and I quit um, a few years. Well, I actually quit twice. I quit once and I didn't smoke for about seven years and then I started again like an idiot. So, yeah, don't smoke. They are bad for you. Oh, in the. Uh, burn my thumb there. I will take the lighter though. Um, and what are these? More more bullets. Doing quite good. Ramo. Camera here. Don't really know what the purpose of that is. I'm sure there will be one. Let's put that in the bag as well. So yeah, I, like I was saying, anyway, got the uh, the luxury of playing it on a better computer than I would have back in the day. Um, this mechanic, this game mechanic, it shares uh, similarities to Ghost of Tabor with the backpack, as you probably would have guessed by now. Um, and also doing the training, I noticed the ladders, they reminded me of the ladders in, um, oh, what's it called, Contractor Showdown. So I guess it's like the same game engine or they've used some of the same graphics packs or I don't really know how it works. If it's like in Unity or whatever, I know you can like buy like different graphics packs and things like that. So, well, I don't even know if it's the same. It might be the same uh, company that's made all those games. Oh look, here he comes. So, the idea here is to shoot him. Oh no, safety's not. And then, there we go. Because being a, um, survival game you know all your rations and everything you've got are limited bullets are limited so um, you've got to make sure you know you're using everything wisely so what I did there is I shot him a couple of times until we got that circle thing I don't really know what that means it means like he's stunned or something and then um, at that point I then could use my knife to stab him and save a few bullets because I think it's going to be one of those games where every um, every bullet counts. 
<sighs> okay, so that was. Was that anything down there? Oh, look. Oh, here he comes. No one. Hang on, let's just put. There. Luckily, they don't move too fast. Now I'm wondering. Oh, well, there's yeah, that different one. Should I? Where's uh, my club? Oops, wrong button. There's me talking about saving my bullet. It's annoying. Sure, I'll get faster at doing this. Oh, just imagine if I was being chased right now. There we go. Oh. Okay, fine. So that, put that there, put that there. Get that out, get that bullet, the stray one. Put it back in. 13. So, should I? There you go. I'll keep the box just in case. I might end up with a situation where I've got loads of bullets and not enough boxes and that'll be a pain. Is there any way to tell how many bullets I've got? Sorry guys. Fill my magazine back up. Whoops. Okay. Then pop that back in there. Get that. Okay. And that last one there. Perfect. Oh, in fact, look. This is just my uh, OCD kicking in. Right, I don't need two spare boxes now. Throwing that one away. I'd normally put it in the bin, but we're in a, a dire situation here, so. Just throw it on the floor. I'll pick it up later. Right, let's say hello to this dude. Ooh. This analog hum again. Just got the new coil installed, should work all right. Gotta lock the thing up before some sneaky psyad breaks in and steals it again. Uh, where did the key go? Hmm, I wonder what he's locking up. Something that hums. Oh, let's go up here. Anomaly, anomaly things. Um, okay, let's get the torch out. What have we got? Yo. Oop. Sure. Old torch, don't even need that. Blah, blah, blah. This one. Oh, look at all this. Another clip. I've got any room for that. I have to put it in my 
backpack, won't I? Okay, so put that on the table. Put that in my backpack. Put that in my backpack. Let's go over here. Put the torch down. I'll select that, right, there you go. Oh, that's already full. But that other one wasn't, was it? So let's grab that. Okay, so that goes in the backpack. What's that? Is that like a scope for a sniper? Or is that just a... Oh, right, okay. Night vision. Can I put that on the side of my bag? Oops, broke it. Clearly not. I can go there. Torch back in. Oops. Right, that was good. So now I've got like a scope thing. What's that? Some food, by the looks things. Some more food. And different types of bullets. Hey, there's my watch. Brilliant. That's what I needed. That's my that's the mission done then for that oh hello right hang on you wait there let's get this torch there's got to be something here hasn't there it? okay. it's got some shotgun shells hang on <coughs> oh look there's that as well there's all kinds of stuff here um let's put my shotgun shells in there these ones. When I get back to base I can sort these out a bit. What happened there? I can sort these out a bit better. I wonder what I'll do with this. Boop. Oh look. What's that? Looks like a pipe bomb or something. Right okay hang on. that in there, that in there. So unlike, uh, I think with Tabor, you've got to arrange your backpack nice and neat to get all the stuff in, otherwise it doesn't fit in. Whereas this one, it's got like a weight limit instead. So they do it slightly differently, which is fine, that works for me. I think I prefer this method because it's quite tricky. Hello. Help me, please. That wasn't really me, just an image. I'm trapped somewhere terrible. I don't know where, just that it's dark here and I can't move. I'm, I'm so sick of this place, whatever it is. My name's Katya, by the way. I'm so glad I found you. Finally, I'm not alone. Okay, so let me just go up here and then I'm gonna return back to my base and take the watch back because that's the first mission done then um, managed to get up that ladder a lot easier than I do in um, oh, what's it called now in um, Contractor's Showdown oh, she stood there as well Still. oh go away no can you get up here? Oh, he's angry. So what I need to do is get my knife ready. Right, yeah, I'm gonna oh, where is my knife? Oh no, it's on the thing, isn't it? There we go. Safety's on. 
Oh, that was a shot. I think the first shot missed. Okay, let's put that back in there. Don't know how the safety ended up on. Okay, so that's pretty good, isn't it? I've managed to um, manage to get the watch. I've got a load of ammo as well. And now I'm gonna head back to the base and hand the watch in and then go from there. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool game. It's a bit like, uh, so I was playing uh, Bootstrap Island which is another kind of survival game. Um, and I guess it's got um, similarities to that. A few of you guys actually recommended this game off the back of that one when I uploaded the video. Um, so thank you for the recommendations. Um, also, I should say as well, um, I've set a goal of 500 subscribers for the channel. And I think so far we are on around about 300 now, I think just under 300. So massive thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, then I would appreciate that you do to support the channel. Um, it really is appreciated. I like the little community that we're kind of getting together already. There's a few regulars on here, which is nice. So thank you to everyone who is contributing and all the nice uh, comments and uh, suggestions for different games and things like that. Um, do really appreciate it. Um, if you have already subscribed, then I'm also, I've recently set up a TikTok account, um, which I'm trying to, that's more for Population 1, because that's my kind of go-to multiplayer game. And I'm actually trying to get a verified status on Population 1. So you need to have so many people following you on there. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, if you have got a TikTok account, um, I'm not really a big kind of TikTok user myself, but like I said, I've set it up for the purpose of Population 1. Um, so if you wouldn't mind heading over to their links in my uh, YouTube channel um, and then following me on TikTok, that'd be amazing, please. Hopefully I'll get my verified status on Population 1 and that'd be wicked. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload my backpack with all my stash now um, and then I will look to um what will i do i will look to see where i need to take this wristwatch different types of bullets empties I should probably put empties at the back there so don't get them mixed up I need to uh, get quite organised with this, really, I guess. So I've got all my health here. I know. Uh, that'll do. Uh, let's put some food up here. Food, food. In fact, oh, I've got plenty of health. Food. Grenades can go on another shelf. I really want this to be, like, ammo and stuff, so I'll put my health health stuff over here another health thing don't fall off um, I don't know what I picked that note up for put that down there that I assume is like I don't know, some sort of flare or something and we've got a couple of four magazines here um, I'll put that gun with them. And I've got another can of food. And then some more bullets. A different type again, those ones. And a grenade. So it's two grenades. That's pretty good. And then another pack of these. Um, and then a camera. I wonder where I put my camera. Just stick it there for now, I guess. Right, wicked. Quite pleased with that. I mean, I will when I have to go. Oh, and a lighter. Uh, when I go back out, I will have to re-pack my backpack, but I can do it a bit more sensibly. I wonder what this is. Oh, that's a detector to find some artifacts.
Oh, hang on. So I had a. Do I put? No, no. doing stop okay well I'm gonna keep that there for now I can work that out later okay let's have a good peek out here watch in here Boop. shut do I shut that no just press continue there we go and then accept mission complete I've got myself 1500 for that wicked so that was my first mission done I think that's probably quite a good place to um, oh look this is where you can buy stuff I think this is a good place to, to leave it actually um, so first impressions are I'm quite impressed with this game um, graphically it looks lovely I think when you're out and about it does look a little bit dated in places but um, still you know looking at this now this looks really wicked um, so I could easily play through this and enjoy it um, some really nice reflections on the wall there um, yeah so controls are similar to a few of the other games I've mentioned um, so you, you're probably going to be quite familiar when you play this um, there's quite a lot to learn clearly there's lots of different areas and stations and stuff depending on one you want to like upgrade and things like that so there's quite a few game mechanics could work in together here um, which is nice that'll keep you kind of interested um, I need to explore this area some more really get to grips with it but I just wanted to do a quick video to basically have a try of this game in five four or five years after it was released on better hardware to see how it pairs up and so far it looks really good um, it's definitely one that I'll continue playing so um, I'll post up some more videos as I play through like I'm doing with the other games that I'm playing through at the moment so if you are interested in following my journey um, or you want to know more about the game then please do subscribe like I say um, and as I've already said please consider heading over to my TikTok to help the channel out there as well please um, thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video give me a comment on uh, things that you'd like to see moving forward um, it's always great to interact with you guys and thank you very much.